That's awesome. Hey. So in this video, I'm going to show you the quickest way possible to change the color of an object within your image. And we're going to shift this, all the blue items to this, 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 and this, and this. And if you like this awesome video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Or as I like to say, whack it, smack it, and crack a lap. That's awesome! Okay, so this technique works best if you have a person in the scene, which is always made up of red and green light, which pretty much means it's red and yellow light. The towel and the shorts and the cup were red or orange or anything like that. This technique would not work as well. But let me ask you, how would you solve this? If I said, hey, I need you to change the color of everything blue in this image, your first thought would be, I need to make a selection. So maybe you would grab the pen tool, which is one that I call sticks and rubber bands. You either love it or you hate it. Maybe you would choose the polygonal lasso tool here and then go manually click all along the edges to make a selection. Or maybe you would try the quick selection tool, which is really good for color and tone. And you would paint and then when it didn't get enough, you'd make your brush smaller, try to get a little more. You'd, then you'd zoom in and try to deselect where it went too far. I'm gonna hit Command D to deselect that. Or maybe you would go to select and color range, which is another good tool and you would just click on the area and adjust the range and the fuzziness so that it gets what you want. And then you would come back and hold the shift key down and just drag it along all the blue items. But then you'd come back and try to, to adjust the fuzziness and the range sliders until you, you got to where you wanted it to be, which a lot of times this is a good tool. But you see all the problems I'm having. It's not making a perfect mask. I would then have to go into our select and mask feature and then refine the edges. And then I would would have to address shifting the color. So I'm going to show you the quickest way. And the quickest way is to let Photoshop do the work. So add a hue and saturation adjustment layer, which is where you would have ended up after you made your selection, right? But instead of having to even worry about a selection, all, all we need to do is just drag sliders. So first, if I desaturate in the master, it's going to desaturate everything in the image, right? Everyone knows that. But you think, okay, well, I, that's a lot of blue, so I'm going to go to the blue. So there is a lot of blue in the cup and definitely a lot of blue in the shorts, but it seems like there's a lot more cyan in the towel, and there's definitely cyan still in the shorts and the cup. So then I would go up to cyans, and I would drag that down. The reason I did that is I just proved to myself I need to work with both cyans and blues individually to shift the colors. I'm going to reset these. Okay. So that means if I want to shift everything here to, to green, I would grab the hue slider and drag it until it's in the green spectrum. But then I know here I'm, I'm manipulating the blue channel. I would have to go up to the cyans and do the exact same thing to get the green that I want. And do you see how I'm not quite getting what I want? Like, okay, the towel's green, but the shorts aren't green. Well, remember the shorts mostly and a little bit of the cup had more blue in it. So that means I got to go back up to the blue slider and I got to say, okay, there's that perfect green that I want. So that was a lot of slider dragging. We did a great job of not having to make a selection, but let me show you an even quicker way. Now brace yourself because this is simply awesome. I'm just going to reset this hue saturation adjustments that we've made. The, the quickest way to do that is I'm just going to delete it. So now I'm just going to re-add a hue saturation adjustment layer. So I'm starting from scratch. Now, if you grab this tool right here, which is the magic, this is the targeted hand adjustment tool, click it, turns your cursor into an eyedropper. And then if you click and drag left or right, notice what it does. It oversaturates or desaturates. Its default behavior is to adjust the saturation. But if you hold down the command or control key when you do this, it's gonna adjust the hue. And look what I'm doing. I've got those shorts as green as I want them, or at least in that direction. Now, when I release that and I come over here to the towel, which had a lot more cyan in it, and I go to a very light cyan-y part, somewhere like right around here, and I click, do you see how in the hue and saturation adjustment layer, it changed the color channel that it's working on from blues to cyans? So now I can shift all of these items to green incredibly quickly. I definitely didn't have to make any selections or refine my mask or refine my layer mask. I just let Photoshop do the math. So let's do that one more time without me talking about it and see how long it actually takes. So in my mind, I know I want this to go green. I'll click add a hue saturation adjustment, target adjustment tool. Boom and boom. What is that? Seconds instead of minutes. Nice. And then as always, you can totally shift this any direction you, you, you would want to go. I hope that helps. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, 
I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. Huh. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I did. This is... Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.